Hello YouTube, we are here for some Labyrinth. Alright, so if you haven't heard of it, uh, recently last month it was on a Kickstarter campaign. Got funded with uh, 153000 and something odd dollars, so it met its uh, funding. It's projected to be out November 16th, and it is a CCG card game. A tactical card game. So how it'll go is, um, you kind of have two sides of this. One side will be defense, where you make your boss decks. And then other players try to raid your labyrinths and you make runes and you know try to make it hard for them to naturally do. The other side of it is your attack decks where you go and raid other people's labyrinth. And they've got a number of different um, classes that sort of have their own abilities. I don't know if they have more characters within the classes or what have you. Now we don't get to build a defensive deck on this. This is the demo build that was released for people to Twitch. Got a hold of devs and they said they didn't mind me recording a YouTube episode. A YouTube episode of it. So this is going to be a one episode. We're going to go through one card game and kind of look at how it goes. So this is a starting. Get to review your hands and you can choose your throwback cards one time. You don't know what you're going to get. So if we look at some things like... Uh, this one, pay X for you to deal X damage to target adjacent to enemy. Uh, what that basically means is, alright, so this is a warrior, he got the Fury thing. Some cards can give him Fury, he gets Fury by being hit, and he can use that in different ways. Uh, so we got two of the same here. I'm just going to throw both of them out. I'm just going to throw all three of them out. I don't want them Fury cards in the beginning. Uh, next we got the Edric Farstaff. Uh, so he's kind of like the roguish person. Uh, now Tix that's kind of how the game determines order speed like when you see the numbers 4222 two, two, that's gonna it's gonna cost you time for so you can act again the ones on here and the twos on here are basically the number of cards you get drawn so if I use this boom I get five cards I get stuff and a lot of her stuff forces stuff like gain stealth uh, your next attack has deals plus three damage so I can get stealth I can do plus three damage um, so we're going to take that off. We're going to keep those. Next is level of Startus, which is the healer. So, uh, gain armor. Uh, and this is one interesting mechanic that takes into account positioning. Because anybody in this cross, if it's enemy, it gets hurt. If it's your guy, it gets healed. So, um, and see, so that's the devotion mechanic. Starts out from out devotion. And sometimes each of these can use it. So we're going to keep those for her. I'm going to hit confirm. We're going to start. So, here's what I got. Alright, so, we see we got enemy over here. He can do a number of actions, including spawn. And plus one attack for fire mini. So, of course, you build a deck around fire with him. Uh, you see, you got six attack, 45 health. We got to take down all that health. Now, you can't pass your turns. Um, now, we got to draw one card in the beginning, so we got four. So, let's see. Five damage, straight damage. Um... Oh, this will deal damage to him, to the enemy, and anything around him will get damaged. Alright, half your fairy, round it up to each of JC enemy, that one's good. And gain plus one attack, you play three fairy, you can, okay, so you can pay three fairy, use that instantly. So, we're just going to move him here. So, um, don't really have anything we can use, so we'll pass. Unless we got her. So, as you see... Her, her range is a lot more. So we're basically gonna do is we'll move her up right beside him. And boom, we're gonna cast stealth with her. So now she can't be targeted by any spells. So we're gonna move her behind him. And let's see what we got. Uh so I can damage or hurt an enemy um, uh, ally gains one armor the cross when we look and terrifying so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him one armor boom and in her turns that makes you want always make sure you move first if you don't you can't you see you just cast a fireling card now we got that fireling guy over there now we got him back um, so we're just gonna do a straight five damage. Straight five now. He gets three armor. He gets three armor. You can see that there, three armor. So he get he knocks off three damage from anything. Now we got ice daggers coming up from him. Kind of kind of weird that he does ice damage. Alright, so now we got her. 
Do five damage. Gain stat. Immobilize. For three ticks. Alright, so. We're gonna do this. We'll bust out of her stat, which means she does eight, because her stat gave her plus three. But because of that card, she goes back into stealth. See? She goes back into stealth. Boom! As you see, he's gaining fairy plus four fairy plus one fairy. Now you can only get a match of ten fairy. So he gets ten fairy. We can see it right here. So we really want to use that. So do we get it? Alright. So, this will do points equal to my fairy, so we definitely want to do that. I'm going to do 10 damage to him. BAM! Now, he blocked some of it. And he is low in health. Alright, so. He gets to go again. So, 10 damage equal to half your fairy. Round it up. No. So, we can't do it. Deal. Alright, so we'll just do a straight 5 damage. It's going to end up being 2. He blocked some. We gave him down 29. Alright, now we got our healer. Um, where's our crit? So what we can do, is we can move her here. And this is the good thing. And we're going to use this. Cross. So watch this, this is neat. So we damaged two enemies, we healed our guy for five. We actually got rid of one of them. If we can get another cross, we will be in target. Straight five damage, then move one square and gain stealth. Immobilize. So what we want to do is go here. We'll hit him. And we'll move there. Watch. Boom! Move there, gain stealth. So she's good because, you know, she can sit there and she can, a lot of her cars keeps her stuff so that, you know, they can't specifically target her. Now she can still get hit with spells like that. Alright, so what do we got next? Uh, the three or less health, that's not going to happen. We got nine fairy. Half the fairy. So if we do half the fairy, round it up, he's going to do five pretty much which is going to be the same as this anything that allows him to draw more okay three or less health that didn't do it how much health are we looking at for this guy 25 so we're just going to do a straight five all right so next we got her again immobilize target immobilize Adjacent to the target. So how much does he have? So as we see, he only has six health. So close to being able to take him out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep him from doing anything. And we're gonna do the same to him. So they can't do anything. What do we got here? Alright, we could use that. But no. Uh, do for target. Four damage target enemy. Devotion. Restore two help to tar four help target ally. Oh, we add ticks to him. So we can do three. So we're going to do this, actually. I immobilized you. Oh, shoot. Alright, so he's down to 21. We might not win this. Alright. 5 damage. 4. Plus 1 attack. All we can really do is deal 5 damage. Oh. Equal to your fairy. Half your fairy. No. Alright, 
Alright, so... We're gonna do that. Up our attack. He's down to 18. So as you see, we already have two of our people dead. And there goes the last one. Bam! We were defeated. I have beat this a couple of times and I've lost a couple of times. So that's it. That was the video. Uh, I don't know how long it was. Probably really short. But this is Labyrinth. Um, I'll put a link to their to the Kickstarter page and a link to their site down in the description. The Kickstarter's over so you still can um, get in on that. But you can watch out for it. Uh, November 6th is supposed to come out. It's supposed to hit. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good game. There's a good team behind it. They've got some games behind them and they seem really passionate, dedicated to uh, making this happen, to making a, a good, solid game. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we will see great, great things coming from them. But until next time, guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like if you liked it and uh, drop by and let the Labyrinth, check out the Labyrinth crew and see what you think of it. And uh, yeah, deuces.